Hello and welcome to EV Motoring. I'm Joe and today we're going to show you how we're charging our 2025 Chevy Equinox EV at a Tesla supercharger. So we're here at a new, uh, a brand new Tesla installation, 52 chargers at the, at the supercharger. We have our car plugged in right here and charging. We're gonna show you how we initiated that charge with this adapter right here from Lectron. But first, let's go over a couple quick reasons why you might do this. First, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna jump to uh, Electrify America charger to show you what our experience was like there, how to initiate the charge, et cetera. So we're here at the Electrify America station in Schaumburg. Quite a busy station typically. There's actually two uh, BMWs charging right now. There's a Chevy Bolt over there. He's not charging for whatever reason, um, but commonly there is a line here. And you know, by the time we're done filming here, I bet you someone else shows up. So I just want to show you how you initiate a charge on Electrify America really quickly. We go to the Electrify America app, uh, come down here. We have charge number three available. So we're going to tap that and then we're going to swipe to start charging. And now let's get out and plug in. On the Equinox EV, charge port's right over here. We just take these little, this little uh, connector off. Come over here to the screen. It says vehicle's ready to plug in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now let's go over and uh, see it initiate. It's a balmy uh, under 30 degrees right now. So initiating the charging. All right, charge ramping up right now. We are uh, at 19% on the Equinox. And as you see, it ripped right up to the maximum, 100, basically 150 kilowatts that the Equinox is capable of. Hopping in the Equinox, we can see right here on this screen. There we go, I'll try to focus a little bit on it. Uh, we have, we're at 22%, gaining approximately 420 miles per hour. There we go. Now that I actually pressed the brake to turn on the vehicle, we can see down here below the speedometer, it acknowledges, yes, we know we're plugged in uh, and we're getting 118 kilowatts right now. Okay, so now that you've seen how we charge at Electrify America, let's explain why we might wanna use a Tesla supercharger. For one, there are 52 charging stalls right here. Compared to the Electrify America we were at, had three, many of them only have three or four. Occasionally you might find an install of six or eight, but very commonly they can be busy and from, if you've seen our channel before, a lot of times they can be broken. <laughs> and so you might show up to a charger and not have the experience you're hoping for. Also in the case of this Equinox, for example, because of the low battery voltage, there's also circumstances where a lot of Electrify America chargers only provide a hundred kilowatt charging speed. That's due to the low voltage in here and the limitations of the charger. Here at a Tesla supercharger, we're always going to experience or should always experience the peak 150 kilowatts because there's a higher amperage that these Tesla superchargers can deliver. So with the help of the Lectron adapter, which is rated up to 500 amps, we can get a better quality charge here. A couple other key features that uh, can occur too is not just the size of this charge compared to the size of the Electrify America charger, it's also the pricing. Sorry again if there's a little bit of background noise, not sure if that's feeding through, but um, there's cases where the sometimes Electrify America might be more affordable. Sometimes Tesla might be more affordable. Sometimes your road trip works better with where the Tesla location is. So having the adapter just gives you more options of locations that you can charge and uh, gets you back on the road quicker and to your destination safely. So the people over at uh, Electron sent me this adapter here. This is the Vortex Plug Supercharger to CCS adapter. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it real quick. Key features to point out, rated to 500 amps and 1,000 volts. Uh, in particular, it's gonna help us charge this Chevy Equinox EV at a Tesla supercharger. And there it is. Pretty chunky device as it should be because there's quite a bit of power that's gonna be going through it. We have the Tesla supercharger handle goes in here. And here's the CCS uh, connector that we put into our car. So we're gonna go ahead and um, Next, what I'll show you is we'll go plug it into the car and then I'll show you in the app how we initiate the charge. So before we go and plug in, uh, I wanted to also point out, I'll keep, I'll roll down below the brands that are currently partnered with Tesla. Not every brand can charge at a Tesla supercharger. 
uh, they have to have partnerships with Tesla to do so. So currently I'll list as of the date of filming this who can use the network, but always uh, check and their uh, check on the Electron website as well. They try to update on uh, what, char what vehicles will work with their adapters. So we take our charger here, push this button on the bottom to insert it in there. See, little button on the bottom. Then we come over here to the Equinox, take our pins out and insert it in there. Now we come over here and we look at, we have charger 11B. So let's go in the Tesla app, come right over by you. I'm gonna click charge here. We're going to use skim over 11B and start charging. And there we go. And just like that, let's hop in the car and see what kind of speeds we're getting. Here on the phone, it shows our charge rate ramping up as well as on the car. The car is actually a little bit ahead. It says we're at 139 kilowatts and rising. And there we go on the phone. It also shows how fast we're charging. And there we go. We've just ticked up to the peak 151 kilowatts that the Chevy Equinox EV is capable of. So like we did over at, like you might have seen at the Electrify America charger, we charged for about five minutes and got uh, added about 10%. Getting the same situation here. So still getting a great charge at this Tesla supercharger that we would have gotten at Electrify America. As I mentioned, my experiences at Electrify America is uh, not, not consistency. I do not get the same uh, results every single time. Through the years that I've had Teslas and used Tesla superchargers, I have a much more consistent charging experience. So again, having this adapter just adds a little bit of security on my road trips that should I get to a charger and maybe there's a, it's not working like I would hope it would, I might be able to go to the Tesla charger down the road and be able to get a successful charge and get back on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop charge and we'll go unplug. So another key feature I wanna point out on the Tesla app, it shows us we wanna remove it from the vehicle and then remove the supercharger from it. So we're going to press the button on top, pull it out of our vehicle. And then we have the button on the bottom that we push to remove the Tesla supercharger. We'll make sure we put that back where it belongs here. And there we have it. There is the uh, adapter. It is a little bit chunky, but uh, you want it to be a, a big chunky adapter to be able to safely charge and deliver all this power to your vehicle. Again, I'll list down below um, what vehicles this or what brands uh, this adapter is currently available with. It's co constantly changing uh, what brands have partnered with Tesla use their chargers. Not every vehicle can use a Tesla supercharger. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this content helpful, please do like and subscribe. It helps us reach more people. Let us know if you think you would use a Tesla supercharger to charge your non-Tesla EV. And take care until next time.